Hello and what's up Madlang people? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to BRB Tube. And this is a follow-up video on this uh, tuner, the Likato um, TM25 Clip-On Metro Tuner. Metro for metronome and then tuner. Um, so I suppose you already know how to put the battery, turn it on, and by default we are on A440. My tip number one, if your guitar has got an old string and you want to tune it, I use G because if you hit a string, it automatically detects if it's your 6th string or 1st string, if it's E, A, whatsoever. Right, you press item to change the settings here, put it on C, which means chromatic. If you are tuning your guitar with a new set of strings, because when you put it on chromatic, once you're winding your guitar, it will show where you are. Unlike on that guitar settings, it will take a long time till it reach that uh, tune that you wanted. But if it's on chromatic, you can detect it that you're on for example it's on your high E that you're tuning so when you're tuning that one it will give you the notes while you're tuning it you don't risk your string uh, to get broken and um, it's easy for you to to tune per string now when you already got the strings, like an old settings, and you're just tuning during gig, I would recommend to put it on G. So press item, and that's G, okay? I hope that's a bit clear, and I, I can't express it some more or elaborate more. But once you're putting new set of strings, or you're intonating your guitar, put it on chromatic. That's going to be easiest for you. And then if you're do, doing gig and your guitar is already got an old set of strings, put it on G or the guitar. Alright? And then this one is handy because it's also got a bass. B for bass. Okay. There we go. Bass guitar. And then you got ukulele. And you got violin. So that's the first thing that I wanted to discuss. Right. The next thing... I still don't know about the tone generator but I just found out that you can change the volume of this one so we're, we're gonna go on metronome this time so to to go to metronome long press on the item there we go just hold and press this this bit hold and press there that's one Hold and press two, and then the loudest is three, and then hold it again. There, mute. Okay, I'll just put on one. I'm quite happy with the volume with that one, and then you can select this one as your bits. So you got um, four for four fourths, and then you got five so five four you got six four that's seven eight nine and zero okay if you want to know so zero is is continuous four five six seven eight nine ten and it's on a quarter note okay and then one two And then you get three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Then you get four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Then you got five. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then I guess this is six, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, one. Two, three, four, five, six, one, and then you get seven. Two, three, four, 
five six seven one two three four five six seven and you got eight and you got nine okay so much for that right um we will try and dissect that later um which song you can use it but i think for now we will stick with the four fourths okay um and then these two buttons here is for your beats per minute so let's say we go to 98 beats per minute four fourths on a quarter note so if you want this one quarter note into eight note three and four and one two and three and four yeah so eight note is one two and three and four and one two and three and four and you got triplet one two, one two three one two three triple let triple let three. okay and then you got sixteen so it's like eight bit and then the triplet and then you got sixteen bit and then you got I don't know what this one what beat is this Yeah, this one I think I got a song for that and we, we will try and put songs to this beat later and this is like a um, blues shuffle to do to do to do to do all right and then yeah that one is the dotted that I am not familiar okay right we are gonna try to put songs to it or riffs that will suit this one okay right so let's start and jump with this one um, I don't know if uh, you won't be able to see it but you can hear it anyway so we are on four fourths So that's it for four fourths on 98 bits per minute and quarter note. Now we we'll put it on and two and three and four. So it's like the one. Okay, that's for the strumming hang on let's go back all right go back to quarter notes and then if we're going to do scale for example for one and then if I change that that's if I change it to eight eight note and then we'll still do the same scale, major scale. Four. So we're a lot faster because it's gonna be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay now we got that's without changing your bits per minute but you change the notes we are going to change this one into triplet i've got a song that will suit this one one two three one two three one two three um you can do riffs but this one is the intro for tears for fears
Okay guys, so uh, after the triplet, the next one is the 16th, so it's 80 bits per minute at the moment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And what we're gonna do is the chromatic exercise. So you can do 1, 2, 3, 4 with your picking exercise as well, alternate picking. So you can do that one, it's beneficial uh, for your picking, and then your chromatic scale. So our next one is this pattern. I'm not sure how to call this one. So I'm thinking about like a funky um, chords pattern. Yeah, so much for that one. And then the next one is, that's it. Um, if I lower the speed, this one, uh, to me, it sounds like Eric Clapton's um, Wonderful Tonight. So, two, three, four, and... So that's the one and the next bit the sorry to pack to pack so if I put it maybe about eighty six two three four and one and two and three and four and two. So this one is like a blues um, shuffle. Tuk -tuk, tuk -tuk, tuk -tuk, tuk -tuk. Okay, next to it, uh, that one that I'm not sure of, the dotted um, eight. Okay, back to this one. Now we'll try and change the um, time signature. So that's a four fourths. Um, this one item to change it that's five four it's a song by um, Wolfgang and it's called Mother Nature I think so yeah it's a five four now I I, I, I figure it out two three four five one two three four five <laughs> Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. 
Another way of doing it is, I think, um, my band, Subtle Culprits, and our song Incognito is 6 8 as well. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. that's it guys uh, I hope that you learned something I learned something I'm not really good with the metronome but I've got us uh, I've got an idea on how to use it and I think it's gonna be fun if you guys manage to purchase this one uh, the Licato TM25 clip on metro tuner and practice with the metronome um, actually it's not just for the guitarist it's because of the tuner part that's why it's for guitar bass uh, ukulele and violin but if you're a drummer the metronome here is very very good because you can adjust the volume as well how loud you want it also if you're a pianist or a keyboardist then when you do your exercises and runs you can use the metronome so yeah it was a surprising experience now i struggled with the click because I think I'm more into listening to the drum beat rather than the, the click but I think this will really help me and for those who are also into music the metronome uh, bit of this uh, gadget is very helpful so see you again guys and bye for now thanks for watching ciao